What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and today we have a Pokemon Masters video. We are going to do a summon, and so we're going to do a 10 summon or 10 Sync Pair Scout. That's a terrible name. I'm going to refer to it as summons or pulls. We're going to do a 10 pull. We've managed to accumulate 4,000 gems. This is purely free to play, and up to now we only summoned once, so totally we've accumulated a total of 4,300 gems. And let's just talk about. Um, how far we had to get in store just to get to that point and I do want to stress that I would not recommend uh, spending any money on this until we can confirm that we're able to transfer our account to the global region once it does come out in late August all right so 4300 gems how long does that take to get uh, so I did complete all the uh, solo chapters so we're up to we did go through all the way through chapter 13 and in the co-op side, although I'm just co-oping with the NPCs, doing the first two levels for chapters, I'm not sure why it skips all these chapters, where we did Brock and How, and we're starting with uh, Flint. So we didn't do the, the boss challenge yet, um, the hard challenge, but I think I'm strong enough to do it, I just haven't had the time. And then in regards to the training areas, we've completed everything, we just haven't been able to cle complete the very hard level, oh no, I mean, for the super courses we can do the normal and the hard we have not been able to complete any of the very hard those are very strong enemies um, but that's probably my next goal is to finish those co-op missions and then do the training areas very hard for the super courses and we'll go through like kind of like my current team and which card which uh sick pairs i really want to use right now but um you know the whole point of this is to basically expand our collection so we did do one summon and we managed to pull the Obama Snow, which uh, I feel like was not that crazy good. Um, there weren't that many times when I needed ice, and he does like have the AoE Hail that just has like various effects, but uh, I never really leaned on it very much. Um, Alright, so in case you didn't know, there is like this thing called Scout Points. I do like this, this is kind of, it's not a pity system, it's kind of like, you know, uh, it allows you to fill out your collection. Let's fast forward to like a year down the road, and you know there's a there's tons of them, and you might get a five star, but it's an old one, so it's not that strong. Scout points is a good way to work around that. In that, eventually you get to pair, you get to pull the exact scout or sync pair that you want. The only caveat there is that they're very time bound. So, looking at this, uh, it's you know it gives you like just over a month. Let's round up to like a month and a half to get 400 points and we've done it seems like it's uh, The amount of gems that you spend divided by a hundred so we only did one summoning at three points So that means you know you need to do a lot of summoning so you would have to Really hoard especially if you're going entirely free to play really hoard for a long time and then use all of it So you do get 400 scout points before this resets so I think it's a pretty cool idea but the cost is very high so if you're Basically every banner, I'm assuming there's going to be banners or where they slowly release more sync pairs. Um, if you kind of spend what gems you have, you'll never accumulate this 400. So it's kind of tricky. However, I will say that so far, going free to play, like actually going without any summons at all, you can go through, you know, I've had no problem going through all the content that I've uh, tried so far. And uh, there's still plenty of room for me to grow. So the scout point thing is interesting, but I think it's definitely catered towards pay to win style and yep so just so you know you can't use this daily discount uh, unless you do pay however if you do pay this is probably the best way to do it. it's like a third of the price uh, I still have no indication that doing the 10 pull provides any better rates let's just see if there's anything here yeah there's no like guaranteed four star or anything like that uh, which I find very interesting. I feel like that's kind of like a staple in any game. <laughs> but, okay. Uh, I think everyone came here to watch the summit, to watch the poll. So let's see. Uh, what is it that we want the most? I think I would like to fill in types that we don't have. So we already have two water, two uh, grass. Uh, dust class would be cool. Don't have any. Is that ghost, ghost type? Uh, I like Lycanroc. Uh, Houndoom would be good. I don't have any dark. Lapras for another ice would be kind of nice. I do have the Obama Snow though already. Um, and if for any like four stars, like uh, Roxy would be good. 
appreciate the lore. But for the five stars, I think Houndoom would be, or Dusclop would be ideal just because they're the types that we don't have. So, and you know, I feel like I'm kind of breaking that rule that I just mentioned about, you know, the chance of me getting to 400. Actually, so let's just look at it this way. You know, you need to spend, what's that, two zeros? 40,000 gems to get this thing. That's going to be next to a pause. So actually, thinking about it more, this scout points is kind of a turnoff to me. I feel like if this thing was at 200 points, that would probably be a good middle ground because, like, I still don't think I'd be able to get there, but it, I think it could entice people. Like, it, obviously, their goal is to make money. Uh, so, like, 200, 150 would probably be more enticing. This is just so high up that I don't think anyone's going to be able to do it. All right. So, let's do our 10 sync pairs. Here we go. Uh, I just want to... Not getting a 5-star would be very disappointing. Getting at least a Ghost uh, or Psychic type is the priority. So let's go. Here we go. Boom! Alright, we gotta do our Porygon phone thingy. So I hope you guys are enjoying this content. If you are, do me a favor, hit that like button down below. And if you're not already a sub, uh, definitely hit that sub button. We do ton we're gonna be doing tons of Pokemon Masters content going forward. We're doing a lot of tips and tricks and that kind of stuff, and you know which Pokemon I think are really good. And we also do tons of Pokemon TCG content and other TCGs as well, uh, like Yu-Gi-Oh! Magic the Gathering. So if you like any of those things, Definitely hit that sub button on your way. Hit the bell for notifications, and here we go. As far as uh, summon animations, I have to say, this game is lacking. <laughs> I mean, this thing's kind of weird, kind of cool, I guess, but then, I don't know, it's like, you're just, you kind of put up a lure for trainers, and then they just kind of come and join. Oh my gosh. So I guess, a bomb still just got stronger, but I, I'm i still at the point where I want to get different stuff, so. Alright. Ooh. Granados. That's pretty cool. Good bottom. Ooh, Bronzong. Is that metal type? Actually, I'm not sure if I have a metal type. I'm not sure. I don't think metal type is metal type. Salamans. Okay, more dragon types. The. The first dragon type you get for free, like, it's really strong, but I hate that it confuses itself. I feel like, especially when you're just autoing, it can make your battles go really long. But, so now we have another option in Drake. Oh, the, oh yes! Alright, so we did get a 5 star. Oh man, we're gonna definitely take a look at Lycan Rock, and we're gonna see how strong we can make them right off the bat. Okay, that's... Alright, I'm satisfied. Even though it's still not the type I wanted, um... Any five star, and I'll be satisfied. All right, we got Olivia. Oh, nice, nice. All right, lots of four stars. Ooh, my champ. Nice. Let's see, fighting type. Actually, yeah, I only have the Lucario. So, okay, my team has become very rounded at the moment. Let's see. Hmm. If Blissey is super tanky, I wonder what the chances are that I can out-tank Superior. Actually, the important thing is that they actually attack the tank, so we'll see how that goes. Eh, Pelipper, sure. I guess I need more Air-type, but can't say I'm too excited about Pelipper. <laughs> nope, and next. Ah, okay. <laughs> So that was an amazing pull, and let's take a look. Actually, so the base stats like, I, all right. So it is an attack type. I guess that's all we can really ascertain. Ah, this like a rock looks really cool. And let's see. So. Interesting. Uh, Stone Edge, Hard as Diamond, let's do. Track players use Accuracy and Critical Hit. Okay, so that will basically work with his passive, which is nice. <laughs> and X attack, all right. So, very cool. Let's uh, let's see how, we can, how strong we can make this uh, to wrap up this video. All right, let's start unlocking skill cap. There we go. Wow, starts at 54. I guess it starts at 40. Yep, down to 55. 
70. So I just state farmed all the super courses, so I'm hoping. Ah, I don't have enough. Alright, so we can go up to 70. That should be fine. And probably next video we'll. Well, next, uh, very soon we'll do a recap of how strong this guy is. Ooh. 237 attack. This guy is super glass cannon. It's gonna go great with superior, uh, but very low special attack. Alright, let's just compare him to. I feel like this guy is. Okay, so I feel like this, this Pokemon's pretty strong. Uh, let's see if we can find a reset. Uh, what else might be Pikachu? I mean, Pikachu we refer to a special attack is 200 at level 73. And then Lycanroc, where did you go? in this game still. 237 and we're Mudsdale, eh, Mudsdale's not that strong but for Pikachu's special attack which I feel like is super high um, and these are the same role so this thing is super strong so oh really happy with that very successful summoning and uh, yeah stay tuned for a lot more Pokemon Masters content uh, as always guys like comment and subscribe down below Thanks for watching. I'm Alana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.